So as a 3D artist, when you think about getting clients, you're probably thinking of building a scene and demonstrating how the product works or at least making it look good. So I'm here to tell you that my portfolio really hasn't been updated much because most of the work I'm doing just isn't all that portfolio friendly. It just doesn't look that like creative, I guess. But it's because the overwhelming amount of clients want work like this right here. And this is kind of just a scattered Figma file, but Let's take a look at some of the possibilities right off the bat here. So right away, imagine we're making a website. Actually, that one doesn't look good because it has a white kind of edge to it. Put this on a white background, add some text, and that actually looks decent. Quite honestly, I would increase the exposure. But yes, you get the idea. Right away, looks pretty decent. Right over here, let's say we want to make an ad. Drag and drop that. Um, let's take that, make it white and a little bit bigger oops missed a little bit bigger boom there you have like a basic ad the idea here is you need to instead well you don't need to you can do what you're doing if you like doing what you're doing but what i've been doing what i've been having success doing and what i think you could potentially offer to clients is a brand kit. I explained this next part so horribly that I almost refilmed the video because of it. So basically you, instead of being the person who's designing all of the, you know, brand assets, for the most part, if a brand is building a website or ads, or they just need a bunch of, you know, brands need various assets. They need things that they can just drag and drop. So as a service, as a 3D artist, instead of spending all of this time building this, you know, intense animation with a ton of detail, which you, you can do if they want that. But the idea is you build them this huge kit with a bunch of things that they can just drag and drop. So this in this video is a small example, but in kind of an ideal situation, you can imagine, you know, 10 different angles of the product. If there's multiple different products, you know, organize them by row so they can just drag and drop infinite and then if they hire any designers in the future the designers have a huge collection of assets that they can just drag and drop so all of the kind of content that they make in the future is going to be super easy to just it, like it's all in one place and can be used by basically anyone that is providing value as a designer and this is also a great reminder to be more observant when browsing the internet in general because you can do a lot of learning just by like looking closer at the ads you see while scrolling Instagram or whatever. So just taking note and seeing what part of this ad on my phone that I'm looking at right now can I build myself and potentially offer as a service to other people. And it's just that kind of mindset shift that will get you thinking outside of the box. And then from there you can kind of just compile a list in your head or on paper of you know, what you can offer to others as a service. So anyways, back to the video. So right here we have this con container. This is a, you know, transparent background. And then if we come up here to this scene, I think it's called a scene viewer or something, the little cone situation. Um, you can see that we have all these scenes that I've made here. So this is a pill. Uh, if we look at this in rendered view, this is, you know, a very simple capsule and it is, this one all rendered out this is what that looks like so now oops if i take this and i drop this on a white background and uh, add some text i guess that isn't the best example because it has no shadow but if i take this one which correlates to this one in blender this is just three of that pill model on a let's see a shadow catcher now we have some pills that we can just drag and drop onto literally any ad creative um so yeah, this is this is what I mean when I say provide value. As a 3D artist, you need to figure out what your client's needs are. And so the way I'm able to do all of this so quickly, and I've talked about this a long time ago, if you've watched me for a while, you'll know what I'm about to say. Blender kit, you absolutely must have blender kits. Now for this texture here, this really uh, detailed, you can't really see because I'm using a Mac and the, um, doesn't render too fast in cycles. But instead of wasting all this time making a brown glass texture, you can see that I have this brown plastic glass that is just already done for me right here. You can see if I split this view here, this is, I mean, this is an entire texture. It's a very advanced, I mean, reasonably advanced glass texture where I can, you know, adjust the color if I want a different color glass, whatever. But the point is, 
this is you're, you're essentially paying a subscription for as many textures as you could ever really need and this is why i don't ever build my own textures anymore there, i mean there's just no point full transparency i will never promote something i don't believe in uh you get 10 percent off using my blender kit link in the description i get a small cut if you use that link but i've literally been using blender kit long before i started this channel and it saved me hundreds of hours and made my work way better so Highly recommend it. Back to the video. The point is, when you're when you're doing work like this for clients, you need to be thinking, what is the best amount of value? What is the most value I could provide to them? Um, you know, once again, here's another thing. I got this. I should mention, Blender Kit has uh, has models as well. So this is a palm tree that I'm using as a shadow to cast onto this concrete. Which anyone want to guess where I got the texture? <laughs> so I think that's a pretty cool approach. Um, you know, not this isn't going to be for everyone. Some people do want a more creative role, but I just wanted to let you guys in on this kind of mindset shift, perhaps that maybe you can take and use for your own thing. So, anyways, if you got any value out of this, my name is Render. I make content about making money with Blender, and uh, I also have a community of 3,000 people who all talk about basically what we talk about on this channel. So. If you want to be a part of that, the link is in the description. Once again, I highly recommend you do that, but I just wanted to give you a little sauce today. Thanks for watching. See ya.